hi everyone and welcome back so what do we have till now if you look into our setup and the repository this is our repository for nest.js microservices and we are talking about this kind this architecture which i have already given a little bit overview and in the last video we were able to create a simple mon repo and these are the simple packages and now in the applications we are going to create the http gateway tcp auth and tcp task so this is http gateway i will just create a copy of it and maybe i will just rename it with this name instead of creating this command through cli creating this app through the cli first i can delete this empty folder and i will rename it because it's just a clone and we will change these services let's say auth now if you look into the documentation also like how to create a simple nest.js service what it is all about we can just have a slight look so this is how you create a nest.js services instead of create in like we write a simple main.ts for the nest.js app where you are actually bootstrapping the module passing the main modules here we are passing the additional argument the transport if you are not creating a microservice then what you do is nest service nest factory dot create app create application create nest application here instead of that we are doing a create microservice so if you look into our main.ts for this generated code here we are doing nest factory dot create this is creating a nest application now instead of that what we will do is for the nest js microservices based on tcp which are known known http we will just use a create microservice so i will replace it here for oh, this is the tcp auth right we have everything is similar we just need to go to main.ts that's it and we need to add this nest microservices as a dependency because which we don't have so cd apps and i'm going to the nest.js tcp auth and this is using what pnpm npm add nest microservices so i'm just adding this dependency on this project so once this is added we should be able to use the microservices similarly i will just create a clone of it and then create another microservice which is maybe a tcp user tcp tasks Just delete it, create a copy of it. So it is nest.js tcp tasks. Okay, this is also a uh, nest.js microservice. We will just rename all these. I mean, this is a, uh, we need to provide a proper scope. Next is TCP tasks. This is TCP auth. And this is next is HTTP gateway. Okay. So we have just uh, these three different applications. This is, if you look into the main.ts, it is just creating a simple REST APIs. If you look into the app modules, you will find uh, what it has. It has the app controller, which has simple REST API, get, put, post, delete. We will extend this uh, this uh, application. If you look into TCP auth, we just change this file. That means we are we want that this service would expose a TCP interface. So, and we will create a TCP client in a gateway so that gateway can talk to TCP auth and TCP tasks. Here also we have changed this. So if you look into the further documentations, these microservice supports two things, the two different patterns, request response and the event driven. So once request response means once you are sending the request, you will be waiting for the response or Asynchronous means where you are just sending a fire and forget request. Those are mostly event driven. 
So first of all is a message pattern which we will use for the request response and another is asynchronous response for that we are using event patterns. So you send an event then there is a listener service which will just read the event and process but you won't get the acknowledgement for it. For that we will be using Kafka, RabbitMQ, uh, MQTT protocols and for the message based where you are expecting a response we will just use message pattern and we are expecting acknowledgement or response back from that service so we are using message pattern these are based on the request response paradigm okay so if you look into this this is just a transport this is listening to this protocol i mean this is starting simple application now what we need to write inside our controller simple example let's say this is my app controller this is my simple let's say the app controller i have written now if from the slight look it looks similar we are writing a main module we are writing controller controller now will have message pattern instead of your get put post delete methods of rest apis this is your app controller and similarly i will just update this this is the command which you will receive from either a TCP client, TCP client which is configured or another API like here this HTTP gateway will use TCP client and will send this command okay like let's say the create user this command can be anything and inside a payload you will receive a user attributes and what you will do is you will create a user or create a task so here it is using message pattern event pattern message pattern when you want a response back and these are the request response based uh, microservice because these are tcp so similarly we have tcp auth where also you can update a controller app controller now if you further look into this uh, simple how we are creating client this is how you are going to configure the client so in the gateway level we are going to create this client and this is how you will inject the client in the proxy service so what i will do is i will just uh, register this client onto a client module so this is using this client proxy client module dot register so where you are going to add this in that gateway so this is our gateway here if you go to source app module here you will register this client module the client module you need to get from nest.js microservice uh, we need to add it it's not there okay and the transport all these will be imported from the nest.js microservice so let's see it should be there now Client module should be a part of it. From NSGS microservice, and here it is. Client module and the transport. okay so what this math service will do is now you are actually registering a client here so let's say here we are registering a two services client module dot register here it will be auth service because we have tcp auth service and the task service and both are based on tcp so this is how i'm creating a client at the gateway level and then inside a service i can inject this auth service and the task service similarly like this so this is the client module and here i can inject client proxy so let's say this is my service for now just a simple okay let's say call service one this is simple method and here i'm going to write a constructor and there i will inject it so there are two services we are injecting 
inject uh, auth service and task service this is task service a inject will be coming from common this is client proxy so this is let's say auth client and this is task client i mean this is just a demo we will improve this code a lot uh, better we will write it so here i will just call this method let's say call service one so this dot auth client and here you will get all these methods emit send emit is like you are emitting this message send you are sending this like payload so you can send a data and you need to send a message pattern a particular uh, invocation so here what it contains the send method takes two argument you need to send a pattern like message pattern and event pattern and the data so i'm just sending let's say uh you can say auth let's say create user or create task and here you will send a payload oh it is complaining okay because it is going to return observable we need to handle the response coming from this so that we will see so there is this call, call service one call service two what we are doing here is instead of auth client now we will use task client okay so what this task client client proxy will return us the send method is going to return as an observable and we can't return the observable just now or right like this we need to maybe either subscribe it and then return the data we need, we need to find a way how to deal with these observables so first of all connect and then this is how because it is returning an observable message pattern and the payload so we can just this is a service method maybe controller will resolve it observables we will be getting from rxjs it's not auto importing things now we don't need to subscribe it we are returning the observable directly now what it is auth client and task client so this the the only restrictions the nsjs is putting is because these are the TCP based services which you are writing. These both TCP based services which you will be which you have added. One is a auth service and one is a task service. And what we are calling here is create user on the auth service and the create task on the task service. And same message pattern you need to define at the service levels. So here main.ts in the controller this is my auth service so here i can say create user and here i can say create task that is already there so this is how uh, these patterns should be similar and here you will receive payload payload which you can accumulate here and then you can do with the play payload okay i have received the create user data a simple user sign up i will just call the repositories database repositories and will create a user create a task whatever the operations you wanted to perform that will that is possible the only way is trickiest way is how we register these services that will be done at the root module or the domain module and how we are calling these services after injecting them so you just inject the auth service and the task service and then create a client instance and just do a dot send 
there is another is a dot emit i think that is for the event patterns let's say you wanted to send a emit a event to a particular kafka or rabbitmq service they there they will use event pattern instead of message pattern so it's just like a simple bootstrap of these three different services what my objective is in the gateway we will write some real world apis let's say create user sign up user update permissions create permissions and then auth service will deal with the creating a user creating a token and the task service once user logs in you should be able to do some crud operations and add the task service so let's finish this in the next video and then we'll proceed further